And we are back. And we're jumping right into our third segment. And we are speaking all about art. We, there is a great exhibit at the Museum of Belize. And here to talk to us all about it are Adriana Smith, who is the curator of the Women in Art exhibit, and Chelsea Johnson, who is an artist. So good morning, ladies, and thank you for joining us. Thank you. Well, I mean, I think it's interesting that we still uh, are having exhibits on display. That was the first question I had to ask. <laughs> so the Museum of Belize is still open. Yes, yes. Um, you know, we don't normally have as many as 100 there at a time, so yes. you're pretty <laughs> safe to move around. Uh, but it is Women's Month, and, and we still want to talk about some of the great work that has been ongoing. So let's talk about individually, you're both curating different um, shows, right? Yes, right. Ma'am. All right. So you're doing Little Woman in Art? Little Woman in Art for 18 and under um, young artists, and Chelsea is doing Women in Art, which is 18 and older. Woman. Yes. Mm -hmm. So tell us all about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Little Women in Art is um, it's an open exhibition. It's free of cost to go and view the pieces. It, the opening night was last Friday, so Friday the 13th. Um, we had a really good turnout, actually, and I'm very proud of our Belizeans for you know supporting such young artists. Yeah. And um, the girls were really excited. It was about 15 young students. The youngest is six years old, and the oldest was 17. Uh -huh. um, the exhibition is still up for now. It should be taken down before next week, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so let's see. So how young are these artists? You said six years old? Yes, the youngest one is six years old. Right. And are we looking at just paintings or what kind of? Um, There's, for this exhibition specifically, there was um, drawings and paintings. So drawing okay. on paper and then paint on canvas. It's mostly acrylic paint on canvas. Um, that's kind of what you know, all artists start out on mm -hmm. is just drawing or painting. But for the opening night, we had um, we had performances from other young ladies. So we had the SA Steel Pan Band Unplugged. Mm -hmm. We had a little violinist. She was six as well, and she did oh, a okay. duet with her sister, who was a little older. And we had poetry as well. Okay. Uh, where did you identify these little artists from? Well, I sent out just. Um, like a call for artists mm -hmm. and I, um, I'm very in touch with the art community so I know a lot of art teachers or schools that do art so we reach out to them and ask them if they have any girls that are interested yeah. and unfortunately we didn't reach out to we didn't get as much because a lot of girls came in the night of the exhibition and be like oh I wish I knew about it I <laughs> wanted to you know so we're hoping that it's an opportunity that continues so that more young women could you know have that experience and that's kind of the starting point for what yeah. I think it's been a we, we've been doing the women in art for women's month for a while right right yes, and you well we should say you were going to curate or you are curating Still this curating, yes. um, year's one it's just that the opening has been postponed tell right. us about that okay so the woman in art it's 18 and over mm -hmm. she did the little woman in art um, for this year it's very different I must say mm -hmm. um, it's not just painting and drawing on the walls. We have different pieces coming in, yeah. and it's very exciting. I, man, it <laughs> broke my heart that I couldn't have it um, tomorrow, but yeah. just stay tuned and we'll have it. Yeah, as soon, soon as you can yeah, have people yes, coming, coming out in. Again. Right. Mm -hmm. but, but tell us about it. You first participated, you were one of the artists that participated, right. now you're curious. Yes, no, I'm yeah. curious. It, that was that was something so heart touching <laughs> for both of us. I yeah, think to be right? curators, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah. Um, my first ex exhibition was Woman in Art, so mm -hmm. my first piece that I displayed was in Woman in Art, and it was right below Carolyn Carr's. Mm -hmm. Wow! Mm -hmm. And I said, Oh, okay. One day, I'm gonna make it. Some like my painting would be as good as, as good as Carolyn Carr's. Now. Yeah. I don't want to boast, but <laughs> <laughs> it's somewhere close to Carolyn Carr's, baby. But yes. Well, so you have murals over the city. Carolyn Carr has a mural that has murals as well. Right. So you yeah. know, th there's some so similarities here. <laughs> yeah. So um, building up since then, it's very. Yeah. I mean, it's been so fast, and for only four years, and I've done so much. I'm so proud of myself. Um, even, even, even with Adriana, you know, we grew up in art together. Yeah, we're yeah. art sisters. That's what we call each other, art sisters. Well, the um, first time we met you, you were curating. Your, well, you were putting together your own exhibit. Yes, right. You were art mm -hmm. students yes, at mm -hmm. SJC at that time. Right. 
how do you manage to keep the passion going when <laughs> real life has taken over, right? Yeah, it's actually really hard. <laughs> it's really hard, but um, well, when, when I first started, the whole idea was to kind of create an art community with people around our age. Yeah. And even from my first exhibition, I tried to be inclusive of ages. So I had the youngest piece was from my nephew, who was three at the time. Mm -hmm. And the oldest artist was, um, it's like he did an art uh, carving for like, yeah, he was yeah, like about 60. 60. Mm -hmm. And um, since then, it's, again, it's really hard because, you know, now we're working and you don't have as much time to paint or mm -hmm. as much less to organize an art show. But yeah. you kind of do it for the art community and you kind of do it just to get the exposure and to also give other artists an experience. Yeah. so that they can continue to have the drive as well yeah you know because mm -hmm. like with the little girls um i remember my first woman in art is mm -hmm. um not four years ago actually it's like seven years ago yeah and um it was a starting point for me to take my art seriously so my first exhibition miss gala curated it at that time and i remember i got a little plaque and i was feeling so good like oh i had a little plaque yeah. i was a woman in art so that's when I kind of stepped up my art and I decided, you know, I need to do better pieces. I need to work more on my talent so that people could take me more seriously and I could be in more exhibitions and do more stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's... Um, so are you guys just creating art for yourselves? Is there now a business <laughs> oh, no. element to for, it? Well, for me, I actually stopped working at my past job okay. at Maya to... Uh -huh own my own art business now. Oh, you're doing art, art full time? Full time. So I'm a full time artist and it's running really good. And I was wow. very surprised. I thought it would have been a little struggle in the yeah. beginning, but it's What do you do, commissioned pieces? I do commissioned pieces. Um, I do murals because I'm a muralist. Graphic design. I'm a website editor too. So mm -hmm. I, build, I can build websites. Um, photography, whatever, graphic design, making flyers logos everything mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. and how about you i'm doing art part-time yeah. <laughs> i've um it's like it's hard on my part to do it because chelsea does like really huge paintings and stuff like that mm -hmm. and i prefer smaller paintings you know more intimate and stuff like that mm -hmm. so for me i um it's been a thought to like you know be a full-time artist but it's not as easy as it yeah, seems, yeah. Mm -hmm. but you're still doing it yeah that's still what's doing important it. Yeah. yeah yeah most of the time it's something for myself but then um you know i put it out there post it people buy and stuff like that so it's like a little part-time job mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and do you find that um i guess for both of you especially you now that you're a full-time artist that right. um creating do you you know creating work for other people, whether it's commission or something, do you find that it also influences um, how you work um, and stuff as you go on? Do you have that something in your mind or, or do, are you focused on just expressing your own self or do you think about well, what other, how it will be received? It's a mixture mm -hmm. and I always tell my, my customers or my clients that if you want a portrait, most of the time you won't get something very detailed. Mm -hmm. I do like that colorful kind of looking yeah. portraits. Mm -hmm. So it would be what you want and what I want combined. Yeah. yeah. So it's very unique and it's original. Mo all my paintings are original. Yeah. I can't duplicate for some <laughs> reason. I don't know why. So you can't sit with a, a picture and it's not I, your preference. No, it's not. Yeah. Um, I had I had some some galleries ask me to do a couple of paintings, maybe like three or four of the same paintings. I told them I just can't do that. Like, yeah. Yeah. Something would be different on mm -hmm. on the painting. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? Do you just like inspiration hits and you have to paint or I mean, what is it like? For me, I, I need the inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> like if it's a day that I'm feeling like down or something and I see a canvas and like, you know, what, I could put something on this, then it's going to be amazing. But if it's a day that I'm really just not motivated, nothing will happen. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. How do you describe yourself? Uh, or how, as, as younger artists um, in the country. You know, you talked with Carolyn Carr, you talked with Gela. We have a lot of really great, talented artists, but right. you're kind of the new up and coming ones. Mm -hmm. What's the difference for you guys? I think the style, mm -hmm. the style yeah. of our art is different. Well, okay. everybody's style is different, different yeah. but um, like, I, I guess it's more fresh than, mm -hmm. than the other artists and people love fresh stuff. Some people like vintage. Mm -hmm. um, 
Yeah, um, it's just just the, the style of art. Yeah. Yeah, you have the it's it's the same thing like any other thing of furniture or anything. Um, in the older ages, would be more vintage. Now mm -hmm. it's more modern. Mm -hmm. You know, so mm -hmm. I think it's just a style. Yeah. And for you. Um, and you helping the little ones to yeah. the next generation, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's, that's, a, that's a hard question to answer. <laughs> but um, now, like Chelsea said, I think it's just or like we have a new vision of things, you know. Yeah. We mm -hmm. have a new perspective, and so that's what makes it kind of different. Yes. But not just in the type of art, but in the um, the environment, kind mm. of the appreciation. Is there right. a different sound? Like, so when you talk with another artist who's been around for a while. Is there a difference in terms of appreciation, opportunities, um, kind of the aggression sometimes that mm -hmm. I find younger generation tends to have, like I'm gonna make my own mm -hmm. space. Right. Mm -hmm. That's like Chelsea, I see Chelsea pushing herself and I am very proud of her for doing mm -hmm. that. Yeah. I'm the more like laid back artist, I just do it for fun, but I see her really like producing art, really pushing it, and that's something good to see. Mm -hmm. um, and I do think there's more opportunities now than there were before mm -hmm. for a lot of artists. I like before, you had to be really good and skilled for people to take you seriously, and now people are looking at it differently. They're doing, they're looking at it for, as something um, more positive and something more worth supporting, you know, mm -hmm. than just oh, it looks pretty. Now it's the message behind it. Right. Yeah. yeah. And speaking of opportunity, you know, for both of you as female artists, you know, going back to the theme of the exhibit, do you find that that has also opened up, you know, or, you know, what's the landscape like in terms of, you know, you as artists, you as women, um, you know, working artists, what's it? Uh, uh, it is, it, it's way different, mm -hmm. actually, <laughs> from when I, when I started, mm -hmm. um, being at sixth form, I, I didn't, I started off, started off with um, general studies, said, okay, maybe let me try this art thing because first I wanted to do art. Tried out the general studies. I said, you know what, let me try what I really want to do because, you know, you had that little thing in your mind saying art won't, so, so <laughs> it's, not it's, a, it's not a career, that won't, yeah, yeah. that won't pay the bills. Um, my mom had that same thought <laughs> and I went and I changed my major and that was the best thing that, that happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now I'm doing what I love. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's but crazy that we have the same experience because I actually started mm -hmm. with science and then I told my mom, it's not for me, I want to do art, and I decided to do art. So. Yeah. Sometimes and yeah. I mean, you're saying it easy now, but no parent says, oh yeah, sure, mm -hmm. change your major <laughs> to art. No. No. I had to go, not I had, no, I had to go behind my mother's back actually <laughs> <laughs> and changed it. But that was the only reason. The only reason I did that was because I was paying for my tuition at the time yeah. with <laughs> art, yeah. and so uh, it was a little struggle in the beginning because I was just upcoming, you know. Yeah. So I started off with ten dollars, mm -hmm. one yeah. painting, and now it's over three grand per yeah. per painting. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it, it takes a time, uh -huh. but it's developing, and we love that that we yeah. can even females because. Yeah. You have you're to prove yourself to right. You are so used thing. to see, like, as a muralist, you're so used to see um, males painting signs mm -hmm. on streets. I'm out there painting on si painting mm -hmm. signs on streets too. <laughs> so, you know. what's been your favorite project? I'd say this little this? Art, yeah. Honestly, yeah. yeah, it was amazing to see them. They're so excited. They're so happy, and then seeing the opening night with all their family coming together, it was it was oh. heartwarming for me. Mm -hmm. oh. And for you? It's the same, um, doing exhibitions together. And we get, the thing with our exhibitions, we combine different artists. Mm -hmm. okay. We never do a solo exhibition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're always bringing, bringing other, other artists, artists yeah. into our exhibitions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so I was, um, you know, I'm interested, you know, to, to see, you know, what the exhibit does involve. So maybe you could tell our viewers, like, what they can expect if they do um, go and see um, the different things. Uh, like, um, in terms of like the styles of paintings or maybe what sort of themes you're, like the paintings explore? Like are people like really um, expressive and are seeing strong, um, like I don't know, personal um, stories or the, the experiences that are coming out through their art? Well, the themes vary. There was mm -hmm. no set theme for it, but I see that most of the girls put in 
uh, how to say, like portraits of women or self portraits mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. They're very colorful pieces. They're more small scale, mm -hmm. um, which is understandable. Mm -hmm. Like I said, the six year old, she did a very big piece, which I think the oh. canvas is as big as her. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it, it varies. It, it's colorful. It's mainly about women, a lot of flowers. Um, mm -hmm. Our team, well, not really team, but our thing that we had is flowers that bloom in the early spring are abundant which was kind of um, symbolic of them. You know, if we start supporting artists at a younger age, mm -hmm. then we're going to have more artists and they're going to be more talented and more developed. Mm -hmm. Right, and for women in art, I did a little play with two words. Instead of empower her, I did mm -hmm. empower her. Mm -hmm. So that's our little team or scene. Ah. So. And which artist did you get engaged for yours? Uh, it's 18 and older, so okay. it's across the country. Mm -hmm. um, we had... Well, I'll give you a little, <laughs> <laughs> a little teaser. Okay. Um, this this girl, she did instead of regular canvas, she did um, paintings on uh, cut, old cutter, catamaran sails. Oh. So, and it's really, really beautiful. Oh my gosh! Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have some new artists coming out for new your artists, one as right. well. Mm -hmm. Right. So, what was it like, like putting together, you know, the both exhibits, like from, you know. It's working with um, the younger artists, uh, you know, selecting pieces, arranging, you mm -hmm. know, the gallery or whatever. So, what was that sort of experience like? <laughs> stressful. <Okay. laughs> working, working with artists is very stressful. Right. Cause, um, we have deadlines. You know, mm -hmm. we have to meet. We have to mm -hmm. have all these artwork up by a certain time. I had people bringing in on Friday their pieces, which mm -hmm. was the day of the exhibition. Mm -hmm. But um, it was it was not a bad experience. I'd always do it again. Yeah. Um, it's nice to see how into it they are, so bringing something in late wasn't a bad thing. Well, so far, it's, just, it's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> you have people, oh, I know the deadline was so-and-so, yeah. but can I still put in a piece? That's me, I'm asking but her right yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> so in general, like, that's mm -hmm. why you can create art. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we, we always tell them, as an artist, always have a piece readily mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. hand. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if, if an exhibition comes up, you put it. your art in it. You don't yeah. have to wait and, you know, do. And people want to put put out fresh art, but still, yeah. you know, have yeah. something on hand. Yeah, just for the deadlines. Because, like I said, like, I asked Chelsea, when is the deadline? When, when is the latest can I send you a painting? Because <laughs> I'm the type of artist, like, say, today, yesterday, tomorrow was the exhibition. Yeah. I would have started working on it, like, from Tuesday, maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it would have been finished in time, but it's not a good practice to have to say, hurry, do up painting in like mm -hmm. a couple days. And okay. being that we have artists all over the country, I ask that they meet deadlines because yeah. you have people bringing in, yeah, shipping, shipping them in. You have mm -hmm. some that it's, it's, our, it's actually out of country mm -hmm. and they ship their stuff mm -hmm. in nice. to be in the exhibition. Okay. Just to meet deadlines. <laughs> So we have one more week where we can see Little Women in Art. Right. That's great to know because mm -hmm. I know people feel like there's absolutely nothing happening, but the museum is open. Yes, wow. mm -hmm. You can go in. There's enough space for social distancing. <laughs> it won't be overcrowded. Um, and you can show some appreciation mm -hmm. for uh, girls. Um, yes. under 18. And purchase something. Yes, yes. you mm -hmm. can always purchase, <laughs> yeah. purchase oh, something. And you can purchase. Yes. 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 Um, and for the woman in art, mm -hmm. uh, we will wait for the official date. reschedule time right. um, to find out when that's going to be. Interesting. Yep. Well, thank you for coming in. Thank you, thank too. You. All right, and best of luck. We're going to go ahead and take that final break, and when we come back, we'll have a wrap-up, so stay tuned.